My name is Ibala Kriate from Medford, Massachusetts, and I'm an NA National Heritage Fellow. Proud. So I was born in a town called Nyagasola, which is in the border between Mali and in Guinea. And I grew up in the capital, I grew up in Bamako. The family I was born into is the Kriate family, and we're the first jolly, the peacemaker, and we're the keeper of the everybody history. So the French people call us a grill. The first grill was a Bala Faseke, Kuyate. And I'm a directly descendant from Bala Faseke. The Bala has been in my family for 800 years. And my father was a guardian of that first Bala which has been passing down generation to generation. I know Bala Kuyate since childhood. We grew up together. Balafong is Bala. Bala is the Balafong. That's the root of it. The creative family, they are the noble duo. Plus, they all play instrument. So you can take the whole orchestra from Bala's family. I started playing this instrument when I was just six. And in early teenager age, I become kind of like, you know, famous around in town. And then people started uh, inviting me to the farm. They will come to my family, to my dad or to my mom. Say, hey, I have 10 or 20 uh, guy who's gonna come work on my farm. So I want your son to come perform for them, to motivate them for work. When that day come, I'll go with my mom. I was a little, so they can't even see me in the bush. So they put me in a big rock. You know, with my balafon, and I see they're playing under the farming song for the farmer. Well, my mom also performing with a female instrument called Keriya. It's just like the clash. We have the particular song for that moment. While I'm playing the rhythm, my mom keeping the beat, and then those workers go with the music at the same time. So that rhythm we go with a work movement. So I will do that all day long, the whole season. You're here today and tomorrow you're over there at the harvest time. Each person I went to perform with, guy will bring one sack, either of the millet or the rice, and that will be able to be the whole year food for us. You see what I mean? So that's how I used to work uh, growing up. Let's go like this. The teaching part, that's the reason why I'm here, because I feel my dad didn't taught me. I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing today. Before me, it was my dad. Before my dad, it was his dad. So it's just been going on generation to generation. So I want to make sure my kid also following that tradition. Since my son was uh, six months old, since he can see that, I had this tiny baby bottle for him. And he would just be banging on it. So the biggest get and the bigger balafon I make for him. So he played the balafon, I taught him, and my daughter as well, she played the balafon. She sings, she danced. As folklorist at Mass Cultural Council, my job is to help advance the work of traditional artists in Massachusetts. It's artists like Bala Kuyate who make this work so deeply gratifying. Bala has lived here in Massachusetts for 20 years, and like other professional musicians, he tours, he plays concerts and festivals, he does school residencies, and he also happens to teach at the New England Conservatory of Music. What the general public wouldn't know is how deeply committed Bala is to serving his own community. He upholds the family jelly tradition of playing for weddings and baptisms and other domestic ceremonies within the West African immigrant communities, reminding people far from home of where they came from. It doesn't matter if you're doing it in Africa or you're doing it over here. It doesn't matter if I'm playing here with Yo Yo Ma or Bella Fleck. I still go there. I will spend eight hours outside playing for the wedding or playing for, you know, baby shower because we want to maintain that tradition. Considering how revered the Kuyate family is in Mali, West Africa, 
Bala Kuyate receiving a National Heritage Fellowship is truly of global significance. For me, receiving this uh, Heritage National Fellowship um, is big than anything. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like, wow, because it's, uh, it's nothing big than this here in the United States when it comes to the art. So not just for me, but in my whole nation, the whole continent, the whole West Africa, where we're practicing the greatism.